Hello, I'm George Borelli and I've been working my uh, backside off to solve uh, backside and butt problems, back pain with, with uh, Teslas. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I've had a breakthrough um, and I want to share that with you. So a taller, larger person sitting in the Tesla seat uh, is going to have a problem, uh, whereas a smaller person won't. Now I built, I built a seat uh, which I can build for you if you like, um, um, where I, I put more padding and you don't feel the, the, the uh, bolsters, you don't feel the metal, and that, that's the subject of another, another video. But what I found out is that uh, the back problem, if you have back problems or you develop back problems or exaggerate, exacerbate back problems, um, I finally figured out why and how. Um, reference this book that I've had for quite a while, uh, Eight Steps to uh, Pain-Free Back by Esther uh, Gokhale. Um, phenomenal. So I got some insight and some technical details on the lower back and spine and how we stand, how to solve the back problems. So if my photographer could come around here, um, in this book, I don't know if you get a close up of the book. In this book, it illustrates uh, the spine. And the problem is that um, uh, in the, uh, the disc L5 S1, um, this is the one here, it's supposed to be wedge shaped and the spine is supposed to be, uh, so that's a uh, front, that's back, this is for side view. It's spine, sh the pelvic should be tipped slightly forward, like the belly, belly button comes down. You should sit that way and stand that way. Not too much uh, curvature, if you go this way, it's really bad. Uh, also, if it's over over lumbar support, it's bad. So you want kind of neutral. But to get to neutral, your your hips actually have to be kind of moving this way. What's uh what's bad is when the hips move uh, this way. So from the say we're looking from the passenger side to the driver side the side view, the hips would be uh, going um, backwards or uh, counterclockwise. That takes this disc squeezes it, which is a wedge-shaped disc, it pushes the disc out, bulges the disc, or actually can herniate the disc into the spinal cord area. And this is where you get sciatica and a whole bunch of problems. Okay, so how does this apply to the seat? Okay, that's the, that's the simplification of the disc. I don't think we need, well, I'll show it again. So if, if you're in a nor normal person, you have uh, anti introverted is what, what the, the uh, author calls it, pelvis. So it's slightly uh, tipped uh, forward. And so this wedge-shaped disc has room and et cetera. But if the hip gets pushed the other way, which is retro retroverted, um, it squeezes the disc and pushes the, the um, disc into the spine. So how does that happen? How does it pertain to us? Well. Oh, so I simplified diagram. This is the upper part of the, of the seat. This is the bottom part of the seat. This is just a block to represent your pelvis. And so um, if your uh, pelvis is rotated um, backwards, um, you have the problem. And then, and then you get the, um, the squishing of the disc out into the spine. Well, if your hips, imagine the hips are really tall, really, really big person, the lumbar support represented by this little block is too low. It may hit you the middle of the hips, but it allows this gap where your spine will develop an arch or curvature. And that's really bad for this L5 S1. I think that's the disc. So let's say you didn't have a lumbar support and you're really tall. Um, you would, you would sit sort of, sort of neutral but may, maybe you would still ha, uh, be allowed to have a little too much slouch. Um, so I think, think what we need to do is take the existing lumbar support out. And, and I have a video, uh, there are videos out there and I can make an, another one 
I took my lumbar support out, put it on the other side. I didn't disconnect, I didn't cut anything. It's completely restored if you want to. But for a taller guy, I just took it out and then I replaced it with a piece of foam uh, much higher relative to the bottom, okay? And this allows my um, pelvis to go uh, to tip forward like it's supposed to. And then I don't, I don't end up squeezing that disc. It tips this way. Okay? So, um, these are smaller, but um, sa same idea. So, so, th so the, there's a, a multitude of problems. So, what I came to is, is if I make a thicker seat and or I just have a taller pelvis, the effect is the same. So, a thicker seat will push your pelvis up higher. The lumbar support, as small as it might be, even compressed, it still puts pressure. And, and there's a gap in here between the back of the seat and, and the, uh, the lower back. So it allows a curvature, which tips the pelvis in the wrong direction and allows for this uh, squeezing of this disc, this web-shaped web disc, into the, into the spine. So by, by taking this uh, lumbar support out and putting in a block of foam higher, we, we will have this correction. So she 